Hi friends, welcome back to my channel and uh, we are very, very happy regarding this news. The news is that the Vodafone idea has confirmed the AGR liabilities for its original pay. And I think this is the latest news regarding Vodafone Idea Limited. So without wasting any time, I think I want to explain you the facts and the cases that is been given by Vodafone Idea for the AGR amount. Now let us go to that slide so that we could be able to see a beautiful amount that has been given by Vodafone Idea Limited. So the first thing they said is that uh, the Supreme Court update regarding the AGR matter and they have said that they have the meeting, they had the meeting on March 2020 and filed its self-assessment on AGR. <clears throat> so this is the first point friends. Now what I am trying to say in this first point, carefully listen, okay. Department of Telecom, okay, Department of Telecom computed the AGR dues for each and every telecom companies as a whole, for example, Bharati, Atel, Vodafone Idea, and also many other private uh, Reliance Geo, many other private plays, etc. So they have computed in totally and they requested or they said other telecom companies to compute their self assessment. Because you may ask me why there's a difference. If I answer you to that means when you compute the age the totally as a whole, you miss several points. But when you do on a standalone basis, on a company basis, you get to know more accurate information and more precise information because company message is very very important because the amounts may vary if you compare to company to company and also as we said the self assessment discloses the company's liability up to 21,533 crores which is a very 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 good news for Vodafone Entity Limited because as you know friends September 19 quarter September 19 quarter, if you know friends, they have submitted a loss of 50,000 crores because of these adjustments. If Department of Telecom is accepting this 21,533 crores, they will return reverse back 25,000 crore. That means the quarter fourth results, they would be earning around a profit of around 20,000 crores. Yes, quarter four results, they may earn up to 20,000 crores of profit. Even if we less 5,000 crores again, the, I, they will be at least earning from 15,000 to 20,000 crores because of this provision revision back to their profits. Now, why friends it has happened if you ask me friends. Before saying that news here fully, they have said that out of this 21,533 crores, 650 crores was the original amount that is the principal amount that they have to pay it, and also the interest from 2006 to 1819 interest up to February 20 is the remaining amount. So what is the remaining amount friends if you ask me friends 21,533 minus 654 gives you around 14,679 crores. So 21,000 crores less 654 crores gives you around 14,649 which means around 2 billion US dollars they have been paying for this alone guys. I mean they are paying 2 billion dollars only for the excess uh, interest and dues that way they are paying so it is the total amount so friends out of the total amount they have already paid 21,533 crores out of which they have already paid 2,500 crores and as well as 1,000 crores so totally 3,500 crores they have been paid so now they have 18,033 crores as the remaining paying amount now there is a GST adjustment that is going to be happen if that happens, idea could easily get 8,000 crore as the GS adjustment. So 10,000 crore would be the remaining amount. In this 10,000 crore amount, if the index tower deal can fetch around 4,500 crore. So remaining 5,533 crores would be the last and final amount that should be paid by Vodafone Idea Limited. If this amount can be paid within a period of 4 to 5 years, I think Vodafone Idea will not shut its stop and Vodafone Idea will continue its friends. And this is the latest news about Vodafone Idea Limited. And people may ask me how this going to impact the share price of Vodafone Idea Limited. Okay, I am going to see and I am going to say you friends because this is a very very critical news regarding this because now Vodafone Idea Limited has submitted the AGR dues to the Department of Telecom and they have submitted the proof. Now it is in the hands of Department of Telecom in order to approve this amount. 
if the department of telecom approves this 21533 crores as the last and final amount of the agr dues that should be paid by vodafone Adelaide limited and that is the lifeline that can be given to vodafone Adelaide limited because there is no other chance if you if you see, see from 53000 crores is the first amount they are given now if you minus 53000 crores is 21533 crores which gives around 31000 crore is been saved in the self assessment if this self assessment is be given to order for Adelaide limited then only 5033 crores would be the last amount that should be paid and this can be paid in the period of 2 to 3 years by easily be for Adelaide limited if the company turns positive so what are the other benefits if the government accept this 21533 crores if you have friends for this i'll give you a clear proof of word of Adelaide limited because you could be able to understand that clearly friends now i'm shifting to the previous step and we can see here the word of an idea price volume guys are given so we are going to see the financial results of this company friends so that you could have a good knowledge about it okay so friends if you see here friends september 19 they have posted loss of around 49000 crores in which 50000 crores was given at okay let us take as a small amount 40000 crores has been given as a gauge your dues provision because as per the accounting norms you should disclose the future expenses now itself and create the provisions so at least you have created the provisions for 40,000 crores okay now then 21,533 crores would be accepted which means 18,000 crores 467 18,467 crores would be returned back written off written up which means it turns into a positive so in quarter 4 18,000 crores would be the adjusted amount profit Therefore, quarter four, the amount, the company can gain a profit because of this provision return, and also this revenue is going to be increasing. So, it, at a total all, if you think three friends, this is going to impact the share price at a lot level, and this is a large level impact that can be seen in this company. We hope that all things should come positive for our fund limited because after this DOT accept this twenty one thousand five hundred and thirty three crores. There is another thing if you note that 20,533 crores on, on which they have already paid a sort of 3,500 crores. So remaining they having around 18,000 crores which we wish we have already provided what else Vodafone India can do. We request all of our Vodafone India investor shareholders to see this news and also to have some positive news on Vodafone India because they have tried their maximum. Now it is in the hands of Department of Telecom Government to accept their self-assessment of 21,533 crores. If the self-assessment being accepted by all the Department of Telecom and also the government, Vodafone idea will rock in the market. And this is about Vodafone idea limited friends. If this enjoy this video till now, then I think you must subscribe my channel for more video like this and uh, also share this video to your friends so that all could get a uh, knowledge about Vodafone Unlimited and uh, see another video very soon friends